Hello and welcome back to episode 43 of Europe Universalis 4 as Byzantium. Now, you might notice that some things have changed since we were last here. Um, by that I mean the date. That's because we played a little bit and decided that it just wasn't... The settings that I had didn't work. So, what you're hearing and seeing right now is, or should be, a vastly improved quality, mainly production quality. Uh, visually, it should look roughly the same, maybe a little bit worse. I'm still working out all the kinks, but I'm using Open Broadcaster to record. And uh, you should be able to see my my Twitch chat on the screen. Which is good. Let's, uh, let's lose the 25 admin points. It's just admin points, right? Let's keep marching down. We'll go to Ferrara. Ferrara. This is the Byzantine Purge of Mantuan Heresy, so the, the goal here is to siege at Mantua. I think that's what this army is going to do. Go there, 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 and straight to Mantua. We, we were trying to avoid the big 100 stacks over here in the Balkans, if I remember right. That's why we marched around. Or maybe we marched around for a different reason. I can't quite remember. Do we have any navies? We have a navy of 208 ships somewhere. It's right here. Let's go and uh, wipe the floor with some other with some other inferior navies. We're going to get there on the 18th. Meaning, navy crush. Yep. Keep on going. Ha! <laughs> Didn't even take any damage. If we did, it was probably 1%. Battle of Verona. I completely missed that. Well, at least you're retreating to Rome. Do I not have pop-ups for... Let me check my message settings. Military... Or maybe no, combat. When one of our armies is attacked by the enemy, I want that to be a pop-up, fortress pop-up, navy pop-up. An enemy can't scorch one of your provinces unless it counts as if it's, if it's occupied or something. I don't know. A Dalmatia is being sieged. Let's uh... Yeah, this army's just gonna fall back a little bit. Wow, OBS even has its own built-in timers for uh, the amount of time streaming and recording, so I don't even have to run a timer app anymore. Or a timer application on my computer, that is. So this is stability. It's really cheap to buy back. It cost me 20 points. 20 points! To raise my stability, if you saw that. Wow. Do I still have the Statute and Restraint of Appeals? Yeah, I do. Good. Even though I switched to Orthodox. I denounced the Pope anyway. Does the Papal State exist? Yeah, they do. Okay. Let's, um... Let's take one of these 71 stacks. Take half of one, the other half goes to Modena, and we're going to go siege. Grab a general in the sieging army, maybe the uh, one of the 356s. Do we have an heir? Oh, right, we have a one-year-old heir, who's pretty crap for our uses. Well, our king is 16. Let's, um, let's not try to get him killed until he's a little bit older. Oh, Austria might be attacking us here. Uh, we'll start reinforcing tomorrow. Okay. So now we have more troops. 
Is there a, an option for combat sound? I'm so sorry for changing the sound so much, or for changing all the settings, but it uh, would it be effect volume? Yeah. All right, we're wiping the floor with the Austrian army. Done. Let's uh take this army and go and stack wipe these two guys and then head back home. All right. Lowered the uh, total troops in the war significantly. So did we mark anybody as co-belligerents? Uh, no. Okay. This is mainly a coalition war if I remember right. Yeah. Yep. Were we fabricating claims on the, the Mamluks? Looks like we weren't. Hmm. Okay. Take this 38 stack here. March you up just to... Let's siege Ferrara with you. Why not? I think this in this war I'm going to take um, Mantua, Ferrara, and Parma. Maybe. Maybe I'll um, I'll use that trick where you can take as much land as you want, basically. Because it's a coalition war, you can take other people's capitals too. I just need to siege up Mantua, and I'll have 100 war score. Yeah, let's go and we're gonna feed our vassal Savoy a little bit. We'll give them Wallace, Lombardia. Wallace and Lombardia should be a lot. Because 16 base tax and 3 base tax. What religion are they? They're Catholic? Okay. Flip back to my tab there. Alright. Oh! I just realized that my stream was still uh was on the wrong monitor still somebody could have told me that here we go hey there Argo yeah somebody probably should have told me that my stream was bad Somebody should have told me. I guess the, the people that were there were just watching or something. I don't know. Or were just listening, I should have said. We've lost Dalmatia? Okay. We're going to have 100 war score automatically anyway. Gain 3,000 manpower or we get Patriot Revolts in Madrid. Oh. Well. Let's gain the manpower. Because these, uh... These Portuguese sieges don't really matter too much on anything but our war exhaustion, which isn't even really rising. Alright, we got Ferrara here. Let's march up to Verona. Yeah. Maybe we can bring this army up too, but we're not actually going to do anything with it quite yet. Uh, maybe in this war we could take Firenze and Siena. It, it would make our border look nice. We could take Firenze, Siena, and Pisa. Why not? Oh, that'd be a lot of war score. Never mind. Maybe we should only take Mantua. Next war, next war target will be uh, Siena. In Italy, that is. And then after that, it's going to be Austria, then Venice. Yeah. We're gonna try to mark as many co-belligerents as we can in the future. I mean, it's not like we, we just can't handle these wars. Alright, let's grab the uh, Diplotech. We're gaining 9 a month, sure. We have en more than enough to still gain on France. Yeah. Raises by 9. Are we even gaining any on France? There's, it's only at 1 per month? At this rate, we'll be done in 1874. 
Can we hire a, uh, yeah, we can hire a statesman, but we can't really afford him. I didn't always know, but Firenze is actually Florence. Yeah. You can reduce our inflation a little bit too, make more money. You're paying a lot in our army. We're paying none for reinforcement, and we're paying this much. Let's, uh, this national unrest guy isn't really needed. Let's kick him out. I mean, we, do, we are getting unrest, but it's main, it's only in siege provinces, actually. Because of our tolerance of the true faith, it's really high. But oh, we have a battle here. Let's, um... Let's take half of these guys and go over. Through Mantua. Maybe, you, yeah, we need to get that, this leader over here soon, so let's, uh... Let's use the Forced March. We'll, we'll send half of those guys, and we'll send the 21 stack in. Yeah. Alright. The battle immediately escalated to be huge. 160k troops on our side. Maybe... I don't think we need the, uh... This one. The siege. But we would like battles. Let's find that forced march army. I just had it selected. Oops. Here we go. Turn, turn off forced march with you. Let's move. I think this, that's the 72 stack. No, this is. Right? Yeah. Barely took any losses. You guys can recover. Just keep on sieging with the rest of you. Yeah, we're just losing sieges crazily over here, but it won't really matter. Because Mantua will be one automatic, I'm pretty sure automatic 100% war score. Although I can't really remember. We've lost Siege of Bosnia. It's kind of saddening. I'd like to go over there and do something. Can we separate peace Austria? No, they're a coalition member. Can we separate peace anybody? Um... Portugal could be separate pieced, but they won't want that. They'd be okay with it if we turned over shit tons of land. But no, I'm not giving them any land. Eh, it's fine. Decline of the spice trade, says Portugal. That's kind of saddening. Alright, Lombardy is done sieging. Let's head down with, uh, to Cremona. We'll assign a general to this army. Go there and back up. Just to make quick work of that army. Alright, there we go. Now they should be retreating to Parma. No, they're, they're retreating somewhere further up north, so there's really no point in chasing. Alright, no leader. Okay, more sieges. I've noticed that, uh, ooh, we got another battle coming up. With this recording setup that I have now, um, I'm actually getting better frame rate than we did before. Which is definite, which is a definite plus. Let's, uh, let's pause before they get in the battle. You're gonna go back home, and you're gonna go back home. Okay. Oops, I just knocked my mic. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Reset it back up. There we go. For some reason events pop up and pause. Which I guess is okay. Oh, we have another battle going on in the west, but it doesn't look like we really need to provide much assistance. Yeah, we're winning just fine. France must have brought in their general. Yeah, yeah, they did. Imeretti wants peace, apparently. Oh, because Russia's sieging up everything down here. Well, Russia, thank you. Do I have any claims on Imeretti? No. How did... Oh, Russia did from the north, I see. What do you want, Imeretti? 
annul all treaties with Austria, pay some money. You know what, Emirati? Annul all of your treaties with everybody. Yeah, Austria and Ruthenia. And you're going to give me a little bit of land. Land that's already orthodox. Which is pretty much all of your land. Let's see. Can't take any provinces, it looks like. Okay. Grab some money, I guess. Because we'll be able to declare war on them. And eat them up really quickly. Wait, once we grab administrative efficiency, how much will they be? Oh wow, there are going to be three wars to take out. That's a lot. With administrative efficiency, they'd only be two. Okay, let's keep on with Sejin. Oh. Alrighty. Right. We've lost the Siege of El Maria. It's fine. Come on. Come on, game. You know it's fine. We've won the Siege of Verona. Okay. So Austria is automatically considered a co-belligerent because of this is a coalition war. All coalition members are automatically a co-belligerent. So I can take provinces for pretty cheap. Uh, if I take these two provinces, it links up my land. The only problem with that is I'm not able to separate peace after that. Let's uh, let's go siege Firenze. We have 34 infantry in this army. Let's take these guys down there, and then we can just assault. All right, we have, we have won the siege of Mantua, which means that we have 100% war score. We can demand whatever we want, which is completely beautiful. So if we just assault this province, we'll be able to take that too. We, sh we should also be able to take Firenze. Okay, so 66 uh, infantry. Let's see how it goes. Almost an instant just decimation of that fort. Okay. We lost 4,000 though. Yep. We're losing them really quickly, but it's fine. We're just going to assault what we want to take. Who cares about manpower, right? Alright, Genoa's in this war too. So, let's... Let's try to... After we assault Gen um, Genoa's province, Liguria, we'll see... exactly what we want to do. Oh, Genoa's not in the war. What? Barcelona gets... Oh, yeah, they are in the war. Can we assault this one? Yeah, we took heavy losses, though. Okay. So, 100%. Uh, take Firenze, Pisa... That's all we can take. Oh, I wanted to take Parma and Liguria as well. Well, sadly we can't. Take some money from you, Mantua. 456 ducats. Wow, that's... That's a nice repayment. Okay. We have taken a quite good chunk of Italian land, but that raised our overextension to a limit. Oh, geez. That is very bad. Um, we can release Tuscany as a sovereign state. We should do that. We'll sell them. We'll sell them Ferrara and Verona. So, yeah. Or we could just sell it to Savoy. We could sell some of it to Savoy. Nah. Let's, uh, let's release Tuscany. Or we'll, we could release Pisa. It'd be the same thing. We could release anybody, actually. Let's let's do Pisa. No, no, I don't like Pisa's color. Let's see. We could release Ferrara. It'd be the same thing. Yeah, sure. Ferrara. Okay, now it's just a matter of selling provinces to them. Okay, you go to Pisa. Uh, you guys... You put, you, part of you goes to Romanga, the other part of you goes to Rome. We've got 70k troops to reinforce, but it's fine. We've got we've got the manpower recovery for it. We gained f almost 5,000 a month. 
All right, well, this this has been going on for a little while, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it, leave a comment if your feelings are more complicated than that, and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, also, leave a comment. Uh, tell me if you have been hearing any problems with the noise gate that I'm using, with the well, or if you see any problems with the new recording software that I'm using for this. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.